Good evening. Hi. Did, did you not tie yourself up before coming on? No. Sorry. <laughs> Look how messy my hair is. It is. It's really messy Sorry. tonight. It's, it's made no effort whatsoever. <laughs> Good evening. Hi. And welcome to our video. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. A uh, very messy Jay this evening. Yes. Um, you didn't give. You didn't give me your comb. He was combing his hair. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'll put my hood up. There we go. That's good. I realise I haven't got a computer ready. <laughs> yes, thank you for joining us uh, for our YouTube live Sunday crafting. We'll be sharing projects create using uh, the time timeless tulips today with the coordinating punch. Uh, I'm guessing tulip builder punch. I have no idea. I haven't written it down yet. Um, well, that's your job tonight, isn't it? Yes, I'll do that straight after. Um, yes, well, anything else to say? <laughs> um, no, not really. I am, um, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get the computer yes. ready. Um, sorry, there we go. Um, yeah, so no, there's nothing much really to say apart from um, obviously, if you like anything you see us using, you can purchase it from our online shop. Links can be found down below to those um, if you're interested in that. Um, but yeah, I think that's there's not much really yeah. to say. We've had a we we've had an, um, a delivery of some new stuff this week. Ooh. So have you said that already? No, I haven't actually. No, you didn't. Yes. So uh, we got some new stamp sets to play with, which I have done already. Um, um, I have a blog hop going live at 2 a.m. in the morning uh, with the stamp review crew. So check that out. That's great. He hasn't even written it yet, has he? Of course I have. Uh, with the Forever Blossoms stamp set. So I've done three projects for that. Have a look at it later on. And on Thursday, um, I have the Creating Kindness video hop and blog hop, which I've done a fancy fold. Ooh. What fancy fold? I've, you've, you've seen it. Have I? <laughs> it's much I paid it. <laughs> I showed it to you. Okay, did I like it? I can't remember yeah, it. You, you didn't say much, so yes. Okay. Anyways, yes, yeah, so we got the Label Me Bold stamp set and um i've created a couple of cards just some uh simple one well i say simple uh using that and some thank you cards for our customers uh who shopped with us in january i was like what's month what's the month what's yeah month in <laughs> what's month in january so thank you very much uh we'll be sending those out to you and if you use the host code uh when you shop uh, with us, you'll be getting some extra gift. I'm those. leaving that down to you. What are we giving yes. away this month? You don't know well, yet, do you? Well, we, I have I have the stash ready. It's oh, have fine. you really? Excellent. Yes. Okay. Good. Cool. Yes. So, um, so that's another thing. So if you do shop that's with good. us um, and use a host code, you will get some little extra goodies from us. Put your bum down. Okay, hi Joanne. Um, yes, be on replay. So catch us, catch us when you're when you're more available. But thank you for watching anyway. Um, which is good. So yes. Um, what was I saying? Um, <laughs> my mind. You are buying. Oh yes. Purchasing um, online orders. So yes, you'll get like a little. Come on, Tommy. Come on, do this. Um, you'll get like a little extra thank you from us the following month. So yeah, that's that. All right, so um, I think Jay knows what he's actually doing this evening, and um, I'm just going to be um, For once. doing something with Timeless Tulips, and we will see what happens and where it goes. I think I'm going to keep it simple, and yeah. I think you're doing something a little bit more, um, yeah. might, a little bit more creative. Well, yeah, I know, but you, you, you're thinking outside the box a little bit more with your Timeless Tulips. Okay. Yeah. 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 So good, cool. lovely. Uh, all right, so we will flick round and we will see what's oh. going on. I, can you pass over all the flat designer series paper, which is over on the yeah. computer table over there? All right, let's flip you round. That's good. That's 
Lovely. Okay, let's just have a little um. Excellent. Okay, so now you go. so there you go. It's a closer pick, close up one of um some more of Jay's cards there. So and this one's using the new stone embossing folder, which is um a freebie item. You can see it just down the side down there, which is a freebie item from um Um, oh yeah, sorry, Joanne. No, you haven't missed us. Um, this is this is a, a, the live live you've actually caught us then. So um, yes, so there's the the stone um, embossing folder which is used on that one there, um, which is a freebie item with the celebration items at the moment. So which is good, lovely. Um, so you can take those. So the design I've decided to use um, some designer series paper this evening. Now I'm actually going to be using the best dress designer series paper. Um, not one which you would automatically instantly pair with the um, timeless tulips, but I think it's actually got some really nice floral designs and some non-flowery designs or some things which I think really it works quite well. So you've got some nice colours here with the um, polka dots on the back and this one. You've got some nice ye the yellow stripes with some beautiful flowers here. Um, so obviously some of them are a little bit more aimed at the, the obviously the best dress suite so because obviously it's got your lipsticks and your makeup but I think there's some really beautiful designs on here as well um which can be used for anything else so that's the suite which I'm you the, the, the set which I'm using and I'm actually going to be using this paper right here is what I quite like for one which and the color coordinations of this will be basic gray black with bliss daffodil delight lovely lipstick so I think there's a lovely lipstick in there um, mint macaron, old olive, petal pink, which that one will be in there. Pretty peacock, purple posy, and whisper white. So purple posy is in there, but purple posy isn't available. We don't have that ink pad, so we will have to go with something similar and close to purple posy, please, Jane. Highland. Heather I think Highland Heather or something stamped off. Yeah, will um, will work quite nicely. So if you haven't got the if you haven't got the purple posy um, ink pad, you can do something. I think with the um, is there another lighter one as well, no, or is that is that the lightest the there is? I couldn't remember. Yeah. What's in it? What's in that gold gorgeous grape, isn't yeah. it? Which is the darker one. Okay. Sorry. Dirty. Well. Sticky. So yes, I will be using oh, the really Highland. <laughs> <laughs> the cat sat on the computer watch just staring at the screen apparently so um, yes so that's that so there we go all right so let's see this is going to be really simple it's really not going to take me too long to do this bit of a warning for you jane okay but, no it's it. probably not going to take me too long all right um so use your designer series paper let's get it out and let's chop it and um and start using it so I've, we've got a card base here which is measuring 14 and a half by 21 and I'm going to score this down the middle at 10 and a half which is going to create my card base okay oh sugar well done that was um, <laughs> <laughs> that was lucky <laughs> I mean he knocked everything fly and um, I realized I was on camera and didn't swear which was good so, made up a card base, all right? Then I'm going to then cut a strip of this. So do I go, do I wanna go that way? Or do I wanna go stripey that way there? Oh, I've done it again, sorry. Jay doesn't like it when I make that like, clicking noise with my, my thinking clicking noise. Who else makes a thinking clicking noise? Because you got me doing it. I, I catch myself doing it now <laughs> and I'll be like, <sighs> So I'm gonna cut this, this is a six by six paper pack, so I'm gonna cut this at two inches, I think. I'm just gonna give myself a two inch, two inch strip, and then I'm gonna cut this to 10 and a half, so it's gonna match the, it's gonna match the width of the, of my card base. So, so it's gonna go over like so. Hi Gigi. 
That's it, so that's going to go in like that. So you can, if you're doing two, two inches, you can at least get three of these off. So what I would probably do actually is cut it at ten and a half first, what take off the side, and then do your two inches. And then you'll probably actually get four cut, four pieces out of one designer series paper. Um, so try and work out how you're going to do it, because if I, because the way I've cut it initially, I'm, well, I could probably, yeah, can I actually get a ten and a half out of that? No. So don't have a little think about how you want to, uh, how you're going to get the best out of your paper. It might be better to actually go slightly smaller on your strip um, so you can get the best out of it. Or one of the pieces will be slightly smaller so you just want to do something different, slightly different with it. But you want to try and get the best out of it as, uh, as you can. All right. So that's going to go in like so. I'm going to take some... I'm going to take some scrap paper. Actually, that part might actually be. Okay. And I'm going to take the rectangle stitch dies. And I'm just going to die cut. Yeah, that's a, that's a good enough piece. So we keep all of our um, we keep all of our scraps of Whisper White or depend on uh, even small strips you can see. We put them in a big bag and we've kind of like separated them out into big pieces, medium pieces and thin strips. So like the, the off cuts you get when doing your, when cutting your paper down, even thin bits like this. Because actually, can you pass me over that label me bold stamp set, Jay, just for an example. Yeah. These bits which we would probably tend to throw away with certain stamp sets will fit these absolutely perfectly. So that's what we tend to do is we will save them. And initially we had these all just scattered in a bit in this big envelope. But I, I sat through it one day and I, I sorted everything out into size, which was a little, it's definitely a lot easier to then actually grab. And I tend to go to it a bit more because I can, I can grab a piece which I want. So if I know I want a slightly larger piece, I can grab it or the, med the medium piece is, so that is probably the one I go to the most, that one there. So a little tip for you. Um, I'm going to get Jay just to cut that for me quickly. Can you yeah. die cut that for me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take some of my damp sets here. I need some blocks as well, Jay. If, um, we've not got any blocks over here for me. Okay. Oh, there they are over there. Sorry. There's some on the floor. As well. Okay. I normally put them. My assistant is not doing too well tonight. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take the um, large tulip here. I might even go with one of the smaller tulips. We will see. I'm going to see what it looks like when I grab the piece of paper in a second. Thank you. So we've got a stitched rectangle there, so which is a really nice one. Just adds a little bit of interest on the back there. Again, if you haven't got a die cut machine, it's not an issue. You would just cut yourself down a piece of paper to this size here. And so that would measure at, um, it's about five and a half by nine is what that measures in centimeters. So if you haven't got a die cut machine, you can you can do it separately, like so. So that's kind of how I'm going to have the um, have it. I'm actually, I think I might cut that a little bit smaller. Can I have the guillotine, please, Jay? Guillotine. The little mini trimmer. Oh yes. Oh, and this is where this guillotine comes in really handy. So this is a this is a freebie one which you can get if you sign up and under our team so and this is where this comes in handy for cutting the smaller pieces so I think two inches is a little bit too big so I'm just going to take this down gradually I'm going to take this down to one and three quarters and we'll see how that works Yeah, I think that looks one and three quarters, maybe even one and a half. Oh, a 
Yes, I need a bit of paper. If I don't like it, I can use it for something else. And I'll cut another piece. It's just paper. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, now I would chuck these, but I'm sure Jay will find something to do it with. Um, <laughs> no, you can chuck them. If you really want. Um, well... I might be, yeah, okay, I might be able to do something with it on the inside of the card, we'll see. All right, so that's gonna go there and we are going to then raise that up on some foam pads and then that's pretty much gonna go here like this. So the stamping is gonna happen on this one here. So let's see. Um, I wanna see what, I'm gonna grab my scraps. So I actually just want to stamp these out and see what they look like first. So I'm going to grab a piece of um, piece of scrap paper. I'm going to stamp them out in a couple of colours and we will see, see what happens. And then I'm going to then decide how... Actually, Jay, could I have a dauber as well, please? A red dauber. I want to try something. So that's, this is the yellow one, which is there, which is nice. I'm going to try, I'm going to do this in the larger one, because it's the larger one actually, which the punch works for. We have real red, melon, mm -hmm. real red. Yeah, that do, that's... Is it too wet? Or will it dry? Or... It's no, it's drying. It's, I'm just seeing if I like if I like that colour. Um, let's just see. I might actually have to go with a smaller colour, as a lighter colour, and um, oh, here we go. Actually, no, I'm going to change my mind. Jay, can I have the... There it is over there. That's oh, fine. Hi, Sandra. Thank you for joining us tonight. Let's just clean this off. So you're just cleaning this off with a chamois here. Oh, that's right. It's the tulip builder punch. It was. Oh, sorry. Um, all right, I'm going to actually do this. I think I'm going to do this in Highland Heather, I think, is what I'm going to try and do. Let's just see, I'm just gonna have a test. That's better. The Highland Heather. I so say if you I think the the um Daffodil Delight must be a new ink pad for us. It's a little bit juicy. Um can I actually, Jay, can I have some gorgeous grape, please? I want to try something and a gorgeous grape dauber. Oh, it's there. Okay. So. That's fine. A purple one would be fine. Yeah, that's fine. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to. So you're getting this as a, a raw video, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So this is my my process of thinking now. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take some gorgeous grape with a dauber, and then I'm gonna just transfer the ink over onto the bottom there. We, we, we pick the best one and then that's gonna go can I have the stamp in that as well please that 
that's it. Can you see the difference there, what's happened? As in just by using the two, that's it on its own with one, and then that's, thank you. And that's it with its second one, which looks a lot better, I think, all right? So that's nice. So using a slightly darker shade is quite nice as well, and using the daubers just to give you a, A different shade there which would be quite nice um let's try it my initial idea was my initial one let's pop gorgeous grape to one side and just gonna clean up my stamp again I'm going to go with Gorgeous Grape and then I'm going to take some lovely lipstick and we'll see what these two colours, how they work with each other. That kind of works a little bit there as well, ish, maybe. Instead of um, re inking the dober, do it in one go because you get re inking so it's not blending. Say that again. So, what you did was you kept adding ink, adding ink up to there. So, if you do another dober. Okay, this is a, Jay's got an idea, so um, we will do that and see if we can get a better blend. So I ink up with... Um, yeah, ink up normally. Ink up with Highland Heather first, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then ink up with the lovely lipstick. Yeah. And then just do it from the bottom instead of re-inking it again. So start at the bottom. Yeah. like that yeah and then what you could do is you can introduce the high the highland header again with the dober oh okay all right i'm so, so you get the you yeah. get that blend so you'd rather than getting that harsh line yeah. okay i'm with but you that's really nice I, okay yeah just to so, so you're saying then come down down again to come like just, just, in the, no, just in the middle just to kind yeah. of blend that okay all right no and i, I keep wanting to go back and re-ink but i'm just what i'm doing is i'm just then Okay, this is going to be a good one. The side, the side by side comparison here. Um, okay, yeah. Go. Can you see the difference which that has made? That one, that first one there, I did. I kept on going back. I kept on using the dauber and then inking up and the inking up and then coming back to it and then that created that harsh line that probably wouldn't have, would still be fine would still be fine but I, what you need to do then afterwards is you would then go back in with the um the, the original color just to then soften out that um just to soften it out yeah great idea anita says great idea so so even the two of us work with each other and um just give us little, some little tips so let's just cut both of these out you could always hide it at the back. <laughs> What's that, sorry? If you're building the flowers, you could always hide it at the back. Yes, you could do. There we go. All right, so we've got a couple of flowers here. So I'm only going to probably use one of these. So it just gives you an idea. Can you see the difference with having a, a juicy ink pad? So if you have got a juicy ink pad and you're not getting those nice lines on it, you may just want to just wipe it or do a second generation or move the ink around on the pad just so it's not as juicy. And if they're too juicy, it probably means that you're not using them enough, if you, especially if you've had them for a little while. So start using your ink pads. 
All right, so there we go. And I reckon that red would actually look quite nice. Okay, I'm gonna do that again with the yellow. I'm gonna show you and we'll see whether or not we can get a better impression on that yellow. Um, where is it? There it is. So I'm just gonna clean. Maybe my card isn't going to be as quick as I thought it was going to be. Because I'm waffling. <laughs> I'm teaching, hopefully. So we're going to go yellow. And let's grab my daubers. Yeah. I'm just going to take a yellow daffodil delight. That's it. This would, this would also be another way that you can, if you've got a juicy ink pad, is add the ink over with a dauber. It will be a lot subtler. It would, it would, it would take the intensity down, okay? So we can mute that down a little bit that way. So again, if you've got, if you've got, let's see, I've, hopefully this will work. If you've got an intense um, ink pad and then we were then not ink this up and then we'll bring this in with the red at the bottom down here not inked up and then we we'll then take the daffodil delight again and blend that in blend that line in and let's see how this stamps There you go. Can you see? Straight to the ink pad, okay, and straight down, and then using the daubers. So it's actually the same ink pad. So if you have got a juicy ink pad and this is happening, especially with these distinctive ink pads, get invest and treat yourself to some of these daubers, okay, because it will save yourself. Um, you'll your, your actually make it a lot easier for us. Can you see the difference? Which we've got there. So let's um, punch this out. There we go. All right, so there's my flowers. So I think we've got quite a few to work with there at the moment. So what I just need to do now is that we've got the rest of this, which is going to be for the... Um, for the leaves. So let's just clean that up there. And I'll pop that back. And you've got the other punch here, which the other stamp here, which works quite nicely. Okay, have we got any green here, Joe? I think we have, haven't we? Over. Over there, yeah, that's it. Good. All right, so the same thing. You can do this with the um, with the greens as well here. So I've got Granny Apple Green and we've got Garden Green. So I'm just gonna um, so we can just do a a straight image. Okay, what we need to do is we do just need to think about how we're going to stamp this because you kind of need to work from that way. Because if I do it the way that I've done it there, as I punch this out, then I'm going to also lose a tulip as well. Now, see, you can make like a little mask and you can do these at exactly the same time um, so you don't get any paper waste. But if you are doing that, just think, so I'm going to put this this side and then that way I'd be working this way with the paper as well. So there's another little tip for you with the, if you've got punches like this. So let's grab a green, that's Granny Apple. It's off sea foam, don't know what that one is, that's fine. What you lost. So we'll do the same thing. I'm gonna go in with the Granny Apple grab some green, the garden green, and we just just give it a little bit of darkness around there. You don't really know how this is gonna turn out, so it's just a matter of just trial and error. 
Mm, no, it probably didn't really make much difference there. Oh, that's fine. So you can see what I'm doing now, because now if I did it that way, like started that one, then this one here is then going to get to interfere with that tulip. So you need to kind of start this side of the page and then work your way across. Then that way you can then go and do so, do like that. And that's the best way to get the best out of these punches if you've got ones like this. Because if I do that now, that's going to then, I'm just going to waste all of this here. So if just think about how you're going to do it. There we go, there's some leaves. Leaves. <laughs> leaves. <laughs> some, some leaves. I just realised I said leaves, didn't I? Shush, you're highlighting my... Um, and because you laugh at me all the time. My, my, my leaves. I'm getting my own back. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Le leafs is the correct is the correct word, isn't it? Leafs. <laughs> so, all right. Okay, I don't really know where I'm going with this now. So we ha we're just going to build this little part up here. Um. So it's. So hopefully that has shown you a little bit how to get the best out of some of your, um, how to get the best out of some of your shading with the. So I think we'll stick with a purple. Being that we've got a bit of a purple theme going on here and a lovely lipstick theme, I think it's only it's only about only right that we we stick with that. So that's going to go in like so. So all we need to do here then is I just need to take some of the stems. You can take off the sentiment. Is that all right? Yeah. Is that? Okay, thank you. And we'll just pick that up. So because this is a long sentiment, you can, if you want to, you can manipulate it. So you can have it more bendy if you want. You can have it straighter if you want. So, or if you just want it how it is, just rest it down on something. Let it take its natural shape. And... like that and then we would just think about how we're going to do do this and that's going to go in like that all right so obviously i don't want to be stamping on that because i'm going to then just transfer over onto the base of the card so i'm going to take garden green for the stem just got a slightly darker one here um if we've got just a bit of scrap paper, Jane, I can just... Um, scrap paper. That's fine. No, that's fine. I can just do it at the bottom down here on this one here, just so I don't put ink on the um, on the stamp in that. That's fine. So we're just going to just pop that in. Like so. That's it. And then that's going to then go in like that. We can have my leaf. <laughs> and my leaves right there. <laughs> I'm taking the mickey now. So that's going to go in like that. Okay. So... I think I've stamped my um, my stem in the wrong place. That's fine. Jay, could you cut me out another um, another shape, please? Yeah. I, I'm not happy with my positioning of okay. my stem. Don't you want the flowers to go out of the box as well? And then you can have. Where were you gonna put the sentiment? I suppose so. Um, so I can probably put another stair, another leaf in over like so. Because you can stamp another one and it looks nicer with two, I think. Yes, yeah, so I've actually I need another, so I need to bring that down like that, don't I? Have another one 
or another one that way. Okay, so you can see the process here. We're just, but I'm not actually sticking anything down. I'm just going to get my, get an idea first with how I want this. So I decided I'm going to use the two. Do I want another colour in this? Do I want to come up the top there a little bit more? And then bring that... So yeah, so we're going to come out of the... Um, I'm going to keep it purple, okay? I'm not going to bring. I'm not going to introduce another colour. I'm going to keep it the purple and the reds. Keep it in keeping with the design of series paper. All right. So that's uh, that. Yeah, that's where I'm going to go. So I'm not. Gonna, I'm going to work with what I've got. Initially, I wasn't happy with that, but I'm just going to work with it. So I'm just going to bring that down like so. There we go. All right. So work with it. That can go in there. We can have that one can go underneath that like that. And like that. And where am I going to put the sentiment? That's a good question. Where is the stamp set again? There. Um, get well soon might work, but the scent, that might actually go over here. There's a hello or a happy birthday. That's quite nice. Decisions, decisions, where do we put these things? Or even just one. So hello, happy birthday. Um, now we'll come back to those, let's have a little look. And that get well soon. If I stamp that in black, then that can sit quite nicely. Or happy birthday can sit quite nicely down the bottom down there, I think. So, right, let's construct and then we will then see where we're going. So, we will take some of the foam pads. Sorry, I thought I was going to be over and done with in about like 10 minutes. Okay, so let's put some. If you're wondering why all of our foam pads have got these little blue lines on them, it's just so it's easy to identify where, um, where there is some at a glance. You can go quite, it's just another way of just seeing where you've got some to pick off. And it's also another good idea as well, as in when you've got to then pick off the backings, you know what backing papers you have and haven't removed, rather than going, is that one done? And then gets to, and then de taking the tack away. So it's another good little tip, which you can do just to, to do that. Just helps to identify where, where it is. So we're gonna come down lower on that one there. I think I'm going to stick that one flat down. To 
superstitions. Where do I put my leaves? there behind that one is nice you could always have more leaves because they tend to have leaves on the top as well or just have one so we're quite happy with that positioning of that one there aren't we i think that one works quite nice yes yeah. and then you can just have the sentiment there if you want yeah I think I'm just going to stick with one leaf. <laughs> my leaf. I've gone, I've gone for my leaves. Leafs. I can use your other leaf. And that's going to go in like that. So can you see that I didn't put any ink on the top part because I didn't because I knew it was going to. I was coming off the page a little bit, so. I've kind of stuck it to the bottom part here. And that will be fine. And we will stick this one down flat as well. So I just keep it to the, just some little dots. You can build it as much as you want or as little as you want because it's so easy to stamp the yeah. tulip. And yeah, if out. I really wanted to, you could go over pro. You could go over a proper bunch of flowers going on here, and can like have these proper layered up and do do lots and lots, um, and do lots of different colours. You can have like a proper bunch of flowers. I show it's quite nice. <laughs> you have that underneath. Yeah. Well, you can add it. It's not. You can just lift out the thing. What do you call it? Okay. The flower. Because it's on foam pads, we can just go in underneath. He says. Would you use the spatula for that? Well, that's not a bad idea, is it? I forget I about know. I forget about the spatula. I don't the know other what side. to use it for. You can, I guess, you can use it for like embossing powder and stuff, but. Sure. And then that one can kind of like go in a little bit more yeah, there. And then you can use that there. What down like that? Yeah. How does that look? Let us know. Does it look better with more or less leaves? Flowers. Flowers. I mean. Tulips. Tulips. I'm getting. Yeah, and then I was, I'm thinking of the sentiment can either go down the bottom or even the sentiment can just go on the actual card, start a card yeah. base as well, as well, as well. So it doesn't actually need to necessarily go on there. Yeah, I think, I think that's nice. It's up to you, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm going to actually go with that because I, 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 was, it I, was, I wasn't going to use all of the flowers, but then I put it on there saying, yeah, you can build it up as much as you want. I'm now going to then build it up as much as I want. You can, so You can do some behind the, the panel if you want. Peekaboo. Hey, that's getting silly. <laughs> wow. All right, so we've just put a little bit of glue behind that top um, one there. We were going to pop that one in, is going to go in like that. So we will. Go in there. And then we've got this one, which is then going to come down. So I'm going to pop this one on a foam pad as well because they come like at the front. So we're going front and back. So I just change over to my pokey tool again. And 
easily take these off. This is a good little tip to draw on that. It's so much easier to identifying. That can come down a little bit lower there. I'm kind of thinking that I might need one more leaf. Let's see. Let's bring in the granny apple green. Nice and simple. Not gonna color too much. Just gonna just stamp it up and that will go in like that. coming out down the bottom down coming out of that one down there yes yeah, so I might just need to just peel that one off just a little bit just carefully he says but that's um okay I might just need to put another So let's just take that foam back in off of that one there. And that one can go in. And because it's gonna get stuck underneath that foam pad, I think we're fine. Hi Donna. So there we go. So that's that. So I've kind of like gone from a really, really simple um, having one tulip <laughs> to now having a bunch of it's tulips. It's because you had me. You had me um <laughs> beside me just add more. That's that. Alright, so let's get this done and dusted up because I can we're gonna, we're gonna go on for ages otherwise. I, I think I I'm, I'm not needed now, am I? No. <laughs> My 10 minute, yeah, just do a quick one. Stamp and punch has turned into a long video. Sorry, I was like, I can go first if you want. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so that's going to get stuck on like that. That will then get stuck on. It's just one thing, thing, Joe. Yes. The, I'm just thinking to myself, I need another layer behind that to make that pop a little bit. Okay. So with the um, with the with the next layer up, or can you just cut me that in uh -huh. the one of the coordinating colours, please? I'm thinking with that with the hide and tether. I can't set the next one up. I don't know which one you are. I think it's too big. I think um, it is too big. So I might just need to actually just, just cut, a, cut, a cut a layer. All right, so that's fine. So can you pass me over some um, Highland Heather, please? Highland Heather. Or did you want Posey? Oh, purple Posey. Oh, purple posy actually would be quite nice actually yeah because we've got the purple posy cardstock and then that way it won't be too um too in your face in your face so how's everyone liking this are they liking what i've doing what we've been doing so far um you got just wait for jay's jay's just think, when jay does his he's just really thinking outside the box of his one so you're gonna see something completely different it's got um on, but that's fine I can, i'm sure i can um, any, any yeah day. Do you need the trimmer is here or you got, you're going to do it? I'm going to try it on this and okay. we'll have that one there. So I said initially at the beginning, so we are going to cut this down to, it is a nine centimetre by five and a half. So I'm going to take that to nine and a half by six. 
So even these bits which we've got, which is in our scraps, which is scored, we're still going to use as well. Um, because the score lines will be fine. They're going to get hidden. So again, this um, trimmer is handy for just these smaller bits. So that's it, yeah, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna put this on. You taking pictures of Tommy posing next to me? Yes. <laughs> we'll show you, uh, you know, obviously you know we've got Tommy who likes to be part of our um, crafting sessions. Well, he's sat perfectly right by the side of me right now. I posted a picture of Minnie in Oof. the die cutting station. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, so that's just gonna go on that. That's just gonna give yourselves just a little bit of a border here. And it's just, just gonna make it then a pop off of that page just that little bit more. So that's gonna go down flat onto this, I'm now getting nudged. If you see my hand <laughs> jerk away quickly, it's because I've got a cat nudging my arm. Okay, come on, strike me. He's now trying to get on my lap. No. Oh. He's going to bite me, though. I can feel I'm going to get... Ow! Yes. <laughs> yeah, I've got... I've got to... Tommy, come down. Tommy bites when he wants attention. He doesn't bite hard at all, but he just bites. Um, he just gives that little little love bite. But the thing is, though, he just caught my fat on my arm, and it really, really pinched. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Are you done? I think so, and I'm going to pop. I think, actually, I think the sentiment would work quite nicely in there. No, have it on the thing. Or there. But I was thinking of this. Okay, all right, Jay's got another idea with, with some ribbon. If you're gonna put it at the bottom, well, I don't know if it'll work, it's too much. But you can, if you have it there. What, and, and then, then the sentiment on top of that? with the classic label. Maybe. Is that too big for I the classic? I think classic? it's too much. It's too much for that one. No, just just stamp it on there, I would say. Stamp it down there? Yeah, maybe lower. <laughs> He's very bossy tonight, isn't he? <laughs> and we're just going to stamp this in black and this will come out. We're going to go down, I think, just down there. It's so flat. I um, I thought it was a card layer, but it's the actual card front, isn't it? What? What, you're stamping? Yeah. 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 There we yeah, go. Well done. Nice. And that's it. There we go. So I've gone from a simple card... <laughs> to um to being completely different yeah. so there we go what do you think um no unfortunately not we're not going to maui um unless we unless people have lots of people buy from us hint hint um and we get lots of um <laughs> and we get more teamy hint, hint team members then um maybe we might join you but i don't think at the moment um it's it's possible which is a shame so yes vicky um please go ahead and case i we don't mind if you like anything you see us doing we're, we're happy for you to case away all right, so there we go. There's a um, nice... So initially, it was just going to be the one... I see in my head, I was just going to go with a one flower. And I've gone through now a bunch of tulips. And it's nice it'll get well soon card, I think. So there we go. That's my card there. So I hope you like that. I'm now going to quickly reset. And Jay is going to hop in with one of his cards. Yes. No, Tommy, um, it's excuse not Excuse me, Tommy. Turn. It's not your turn to get on here. 
Are you going to try and sneak in? Sorry. There we go. Come on. Off you get. It's now Jay's come, turn. Come. Okay. Thank you. I'll pass you over to Jay. Party. <laughs> Tommy. Come on. Are you going to sit with me? Okay. You sit next to me. There we go. Hello. So, uh, you've seen Barry's lovely floral card. And as he mentioned, I am doing something different with the tulip builder tulip builder punch and the what's where's the stamp set timeless timeless tulips no but where is it <laughs> oh where is it um oops. oh it's there oh no i've got it oh right there so cool timeless tulips and i'm just gonna i'm i'm gonna be using other products to go with the card and you might be able to I haven't my I haven't made it um, an example so I'm gonna be using the well written frame uh pre, well well written dies yeah. <laughs> and you could also use the make a difference um, stamp set uh, so I'm actually gonna create my own sentiment uh, or part of the sentiment but we will crack on once and i'll be using this this is the main the important bit <laughs> and you might have guessed already no I'm sure no I haven't. does anyone know what he's making yet put your guesses so i'll do the stamping of the that first and as Barry did his on there I'll just do it on that one so did you try the granny apple green and the garden green yeah together? I, did, did but it... I probably didn't I don't think it was um I probably didn't put enough garden green on so okay. but have another try with it and see so I'll see I quite like um the tone and I'll probably stamp off or something did you need any of these colours here, which uh, I've been using? No. no I'll move them out, you lay them. So, just if we do stamp off, and then the garden green dober. Oh, sorry, I'll put this one off that bit, we'll put that one away. just to see how it look. I'm, I've just done what you were doing. What inked up? Inking it. I think it's, it's just automatic, so, it's, isn't no, it? it's an automatic response is to just keep on re-inking, but I don't think it's too much of a problem. I think the secret is to go back over with the lighter color to then yeah. mute that, just to tone that, um, just tone the dark colour down just a little bit. There you go. It wasn't too works. bad. There you go. Okay, I'll I'll use that one. So yeah, so dober onto your stamp is good. And I'll just punch that. Bing! So that's done, that's one. And then granny apple green. Granny apple green, granny apple green and I'll punch it. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Off cut. So I'm just doing two, maybe I'll do three. Any ideas yet? I'm interested. Confetti, little flowers. So uh, you this was an uh, on-stage gift like a, a couple of years ago but it's just a gel pen and it is um or you can use any other journaling pens oh there's a journaling pens on the catalog so whilst that's done i've also done so just to show you a difference that's all in garden green 
There we go. A pre die cut. Birthday from the well written dies in granny apple green and thick whisper white. And I'm just gonna use that. What's this? Fine tip glue pen to stack that up. Um, the thick whisper white is is already um, thick. <laughs> Sturdy, but I just want it sturdy here. <laughs> mm, there we go. It's coming out. It's a sturdier paper. Yes, um, and it adds height. I'm, I'm like, I'm just doing in between. Is that actually? It's coming out, but I don't want to do it. Yeah, too go much. carefully. You don't need much glue. Right, let's have a look. So, you need that needle to go in. I'm concentrating. Yeah. It's the only time you keep quiet. <laughs> right, that should be enough. And I just wanted a color underneath as well. So you can do two, two whisper white if you prefer, but I have this thing where I think the color underneath will actually show <laughs> because of the either the reflection or something behind it, but it kind of does, or you can just offset it slightly, but I, I like the idea of having two tone die cut sentiment. And that, 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 that's done, that's done. I had these. In the well-written dice, there's some shapes on there as well, which is great. So you have flowers and hearts and a bee, not a bee, a bird and butterfly. Or you have the flourish and the tall leaves there. But I'm just going to keep it. So I've die cut three hearts. I don't know if I'll use all of them, but I'll pre die cut them. And the sentiment is actually going to be a play on words. Um, or it's going to be a pun card. So this um, card idea was inspired by the Stamping Glam Squad tutorial bundle uh, that you can purchase as a standalone or when you join our team. And the theme for that is look who is punny card. So it's like fun, pun, punny cards, <laughs> humorous cards. <laughs> FNPs, FNPs. No. <laughs> so it is gonna be happy birthday. <laughs> Another P there. Yeah. So this one. I did with the Make a Difference. So the Make a Difference stamp, you have individual stamp. It is a bit um, long-winded if you, but it's great if you want to create your own sentiments. So what I did, a tip for that is I actually draw a straight line and then stamped it individually. Um, just for fun, a three-eyed monster with thick eyebrows. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that one. But looking at the stamp in Timeless Tulips, if you don't have the Make a Difference, there's actually a way of creating happy with the actual sentiment. So you have hap on there and e on there. I thought that was genius. Anyway, <laughs> but I didn't think so. You, yeah, I'm going to do that now. So I have... <laughs> I'm just looking at you going... It's like, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, whatever. So I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to... Because you can cut it. It's quite small. I have done one. I, I don't know if you've lost it. Oh, it's there. Yeah, it's there. It's, it's slightly smaller. This one he made it earlier on. But... Um, it's from the same stand set, so I'm just going to do a straight line. And you could always just 
rub that off and you do need either you need to mask the happy easter happy spring happy happy everything uh, or use the stamping right marker which is the brush tip so if you just do your hap first h a p i have to bring it up because i can't see i think i need glasses i've got said that a couple of times i can't sorry when was the last time you dry tested um years ago i'm gonna put you on the spot now when was the last time you hadn't checked <sighs> like years and years ago did i actually i don't think i what you lost this i don't think i cleaned it when i was trying it out it's not my stomach <laughs> all right just make sure that's done so i'm just gonna stamp on that line three peas in a pod yeah And then make sure you clean it. Clean it out. And then dry it. Just by <coughs> stamp it. And then the Easter with the E and the A. I think it's more the glare of the light that I can't that doesn't. You can half on it as well, but I did it in the first time. I did it the first time, so it probably doesn't matter. So happy. Ta da! I thought that was really good. So wait for that to dry before you rub off the pencil. Mark. <sighs> That's me drying it. <laughs> well, I can cut it and then you can rub it. It'll be tiny, but you can rub it off. Yay? Yay? Right. It's the shadows. I struggled with shadows this evening, we're punching. There you go, you can rub that out. Maybe. What do you think? You're gonna trust me to rub it and smudge the black ink. Well, it's oh. it's taken time to do it. So, um, that was pretty much it. Uh, and I'm just gonna stick this down. You can... <laughs> You can add more stuff onto it if you want. I thought, oh yeah, I can do some more. Um, I really love the embossing folder from Power of Hope. Um, and that's why I've been using it quite a bit as well. Done? See, that was quick. Yeah. But I will Give keep it. Give me the it. smallest bit of paper with my big sausage fingers. <laughs> This keeps, um, we don't really use this much. No, we don't. So, um, and I've left it open. Where's the lid? That's fair. Do you want me to do it? That's fine. I can just... But it's really good for, like, tiny, thin sentiments. And I thought I'll do a, a border as well for this card using the gel pen. Because I shared a, a picture of the mirror cat. It's not doing... Do we have another one? It's that blocked up, is it? Yeah. It's because we don't use it. I was like, oh, I'll use that one. No, it's fine. Let me do it. I think it's being on live. Is it actually um got a thing on? <laughs> Barry can add the, the glue whilst 
I'm doing this. Yeah, so um, I shared a picture of the the Mercat um, card on Instagram and Facebook, and a couple of people asked how I did the the border. So it was just literally just freehand. Uh, you can practice. I didn't actually like my my border, but you can practice and just do um, try and if you don't want it too straight, you can just do squiggly lines. Um, with the cactus, I thought like having the two lines in between was quite nice to uh, imitate the needles of the cactus, but I, I quite like it. So I'll probably just use that um, on this card. And in the corner, I tried to, I think I, I, I did a couple of like lines like that, but it went a bit funky in one one corner. I was like trying to do it like this, and then it just went funny. But yes. What am I actually doing with this, Jay? I just need glue on it. All oh, right. Okay. Is it done now? I said like I can I can do it on the camera. Oh. Yeah. Is it too much now? <laughs> because uh, I'm. Oh no! What's that? It was gluey. So that's. Is that the one that you gave me? Yeah. So that one was from the Timeless Tulips. And this one is from the Make a Difference uh, stamp set. So it is nicer to have the bolder line and it's bigger. But I'm just waiting for Barry to finish giving me glue. So we'll see how that works. Oh, and the punch top. Oh, you are done. Thank you. Just to make sure I haven't put too much in places. That's fine. We'll see. So I'm just going to have that at the bottom there. This glue will last you a lifetime. Oh, yeah, maybe it was a bit too much. Um, that's fine. It's going to dry. It will dry clear anyway. It will dry clear. He says, I'm just tidying the blobs. With my big tool. I wasn't putting enough. You were blobbing it. Blobbing it. <laughs> Mr. Blobby. <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you so much. Right. Where, where was I? Right. I'm going to put, I'm going to add this on with dimensionals that Barry will point out. There we go. And then I haven't actually done all of those. So I'll just do two. Mm, I'm stick, stuck, stick, stuck. And yeah, so you can, I had to, some, some faces are quite hard to, um, to draw. <laughs> just two dots and a, and a, and a smile, but sometimes it doesn't look, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It's quite side smiling. <laughs> and you can probably use your um, Stampin' Right marker as well for this. Yes. But I think ours is coming. Yeah. The brush tip is fine, but the other tip isn't. So I'm, that's why I'm using this one. So I'm just gonna add more. Yeah, that looks all right. And before I add this on, you can have it at the bottom down there. Where's my pick tool? Pop! Right, I'm gonna keep that there because my card keeps moving. So I want it up there. So I'm just playing with the placement as what Barry was doing and your take your pick tool. What's it called? 
chapati and is actually good for this as well so i'll have three three is good right yeah three peas um yeah so i'm gonna have that there and that should be fine there okay if not i could always it's hard to gauge where to stick that down so i'm gonna actually stick this with the foam pad where i want it first and then slot them inside because you could if it if it hits the foam pad you could always cut the the piece underneath if that makes sense because it's gonna get hidden anyways is that all my peas that I've done? Okay. You've got one more pea in front of you. Yeah, no, I don't like that one. <laughs> I went overboard. See, that one's cute, but now it's dirty. No, that's three peas. Yeah, good. okay. <clears throat> Just hurry up, it's not what you're saying. <laughs> what was that? I love your hand drawn squiggle board. It's very simple. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna try tonight and see if I can actually do it again. I'm right pig here if not that. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> now he's Mr. Blobby. Blobby. <laughs> well, there we go. That's fine. And now I have loads for my other ones. Here. Right. Because I couldn't pick it up. And then I didn't want to take it off my pick tool. Peas in the pot. And there you go. Nearly done, Anes. At least I'm not as long as Barry this time. Or am I? <laughs> Don't know. No, I think I took the longest considering I didn't know what it was because I didn't know what I was doing. Ooh. There we go. So although it's the timeless tulips stamp set, I did use that and the sentiment. And then for the happy so you have this one, I'm going to have there, although I do like that I one because it's like bigger. Right, I prefer the bigger one myself. So I've shown you how to do the, to use the same stamp, but I'm going to be doing that one. So I, as I said earlier, I just draw a line and then do it individually. As you can see, like the, that's the stamp that I used, have like a pot to have because you got to lose them so you easily. lose them so easily. Yeah, that's what Barry said. I'm just echoing. <laughs> I noticed. Yes. So with this one, I'm adding glue just on the left hand side. And I'm just going to have that coming off like so. So I'll add the dimensional on the other side to keep that. Nice and sturdy on there. There we are, and then we have these. I thought I'll, I'll use them instead of sending. Ah, I can put them there. There oh. we go. Oh, this is from the Definitely. same die set. Yeah. Oh, is it? Because I saved my my dots. But I think that's too tiny to add on. So I'm just gonna use the heart. Okay. I wasn't I was gonna dot them around. But that's that's be, I think that's a bit. So better you're using the heart as a the yeah. dot on the top of the eye. Yeah, I think that's nice. Oh. Have you blobbed again? No. Yeah, that's far too much. I have not blobbed. There we go. Oops. Oh. Or for Valentine's, 
You can actually, again, it's a, a bit long-winded. You can make Valentine with the well-written dice. Or you can just have Happy Love Day because there's a love die on the well-written dice. What? Happy Love Day. Happy Love Day. Every day is a love day. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in this house. <laughs> because you're annoying. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blob. <laughs> it's your fault. Okay. Who else have a fun time blobbing? <laughs> oh no, that is blobbing, isn't it? But you, if it does becomes too sticky, you can use your embossing buddy to de-stick the card because I think I'm gonna have to with this one but that's fine we do actually have tweezers <laughs> we do <laughs> we just never use them do you want some tweezers but I find um, it doesn't go where I want them to go either because it then it goes underneath so I do that's why I like the um the party because you can pick it up as well but i think i'm just being too um stingy for not changing it but there there we go i'm gonna stop there and then i'm gonna bo Pretty. border it up <clears throat> oh my gosh how am i gonna do it so Freehand, yeah, so try not to think about it too much. Um, yeah, and I'm kind of like using the edge as a kind of like a guideline, a way, even. I, don't, I can't do the swiggles <laughs> that well. Um, and see, I just done it. It's your fault. It's good, isn't it? No, it's not. I'll just get on with it. <laughs> there we go. And... Ta-da! Right. Thing, don't they? Oh, okay. Or is that too much? That's fine. I'll just do it that way. There you go. So that is my happy birthday card using the Timeless True Lips. Yes. Stamp set and the True Lip Builder Punch. Okay. So we've got one originally how it's designed, meant to be used. Sorry, it's so messy. You're so messy, Barry. What are you done to look? Look. <coughs> it's all me. Yeah. Lovely. So what do you think? Do you like? Um, what's that? Well, freehand is great. Um, certainly not my forte. Well done. Yeah, no, I think it just adds a really nice little, um, little extra to it, isn't it? So thank you, everyone. So yes, yeah, so we've got the original how the stamp set and the punch is actually intended. So that's that one there on dimensionals. But you've shown something... Like yeah, so I think some techniques the there with the daubers. Yeah. And obviously, so hopefully that's helped you, especially if you've got a juicy ink pad as well, hopefully the daubers. So if you missed that, we'll catch the replay at the beginning. Um, and we're showing you how to obviously do the two-tone on that one. And Jay's beautiful card here. Um, and taking the stamp set to a completely another level. So a play on words as well, which is really, really nice. And some using some other stamp sets to really, really... I think bring it out and actually just make it a really nice stamp, a, a something different. So I think that's really, really cute. That's a really mm. pretty card. So I hope you like both of those. I um, definitely that's really nice. Well done. Mm. No, I, I like the way that you use the door as well. So, and you use DSP. And I, yeah, well, that's my that's my goal is we buy we keep buying all this paper. 
but we don't use it enough. So we still have loads. We still have, yeah, we still have shed loads. I am using the SP on the Creating Kindness video hub on Thursday. So. Are you really? Yes. Oh. Wow. So, yes. That's it. So what have we got here? Lovely colour. Um, changing the tulips to you. Thank you, Esther. That's it, yeah. Um... Is that hi, Mary? I can't see it. Is that Marion? Yeah. Marianne, hi, Marion. Yes. yes. So, um, should we flick the camera around? Yes. Let's have a little look. Let's go. No, we're fine. There we go. So, yeah, Minnie was in there earlier whilst um, the die cutting um, machine is down here when I was using it. And then Tommy was sat. Sat at top, but, yeah. but Tommy is currently sat. Down there, sleeping by the side of us. So let's not disturb him because otherwise he'll just come yeah. back on. The beard game is strong. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it cut tomorrow. Aren't I'm you? gonna have it tied up tidy, tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, I'm not having it cut. It's taken me months to grow it this long. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, so that's Paris cards, floral card. I've, I've been meaning to like use this stamp for ages because we got it. Uh, on stage, didn't we? We did, yes. Yeah, I think it's the first time I've used it as well <laughs> since November. Is it? No, I don't think so. Yeah. It so, and there we go. And that's that one right there. Cool. So if you, um, like we said at the beginning, if there's anything you liked um, and you want to, you can always purchase any of the stuff from us. Um, links are down below um, if you'd like to. Or alternatively, there is a donate button down there as well. So if you can't shop with us, then obviously if you want to help support our channel, there is a donate button down there. And it just helps us be able to buy more products and show you more videos. So yes. um, that the link for that is down below as well. Um, subscribe to our newsletter. Hit the bell on the side, whatever side it is. It's either that side or this side. I can never remember. Um, you're going to have a little look at the video now, aren't yeah. you? And see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's that one. I it's think it's, I think it's down. I think it's down there. Yeah, that's it. So hit the bell and you'll get notifications when we are on and live in the future. Yeah, see, we've got it. It's towards you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Excellent. Anyway, All right, thanks hey, guys. Again. Thank you very much. We will be back on Wednesday. Are you home on Wednesday? I think so. Good. You can do the video because the I cats are a nightmare of me this cheap Wednesday. I can't remember. <laughs> I know I'm in Winchester tomorrow. Lovely. In Walton on Thursday. That's it. Just give everyone your work rotor. <laughs> No, yeah, pop in. Pop in. Yes. Say hello. Yeah, lovely. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching, and we will see you on Wednesday evening. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.